Good morning, this is Amy with the National Weather Service Office in San Angelo with a quick update to the weather briefing this Friday morning. Well, it looks like heavy snow is becoming more and more of a possibility across West Texas for late Saturday night into Sunday. But we'll start out with a quick look at the forecast for today. We have some clouds moving into the area from the east, so we will see temperatures a bit cooler today than we have seen the last few days. We're starting out this morning with temperatures in the mid-20s to lower 30s across the area, so we will see cooler temperatures for the afternoon hours. We're looking for highs today to only warm into the 40s across the big country with lower to mid-50s elsewhere. Now on to our weekend forecast. We're watching an upper level storm system currently over the Pacific that will be moving into the western U.S. for the weekend. As a storm system approaches, we will see a chance of precipitation increasing as well as much colder temperatures moving into the area. We have a winter storm watch that we have issued for the big country, including the areas of Abilene, Sweetwater, Albany, Throckmorton, Haskell, and Hamlin areas. We expect rain to begin Saturday evening as the storm system approaches. Then, as the colder temperatures move in and the storm system gets closer, we will see rain transitioning over to snow late Saturday night and early Sunday morning. We could see some snow totals as high as 3 to 6 inches across the big country, which is why we have issued a winter storm watch. Now areas to the south could also see snow, but at this point it looks like snow totals will not be quite as high. So for the Concho Valley from San Angelo to Brownwood areas and out to San Saba, we could see 1 to 2 inch snow totals. And then even further south along the I-10 corridor, there could be a little bit of light snow, but we're not expecting any significant accumulations at this point. However, we'll talk a little bit about winter weather forecasting, which can be quite challenging for West Texas. We can see some snow totals vary quite greatly over short distances as heavy snow bands set up. And three days out, it's very difficult to tell exactly where that heavy snow will set up. Winter forecasts can change frequently because of this, so as new model data becomes available over the next couple days, we will be updating the forecast and hopefully improving the snow totals as we get closer to the weekend. So what can you do at this point? Well, keep an eye on the weather, uh, watch for any updates, rely on dependable sources for weather information and watch for any updates for your winter storm watches and possible warnings as the storm system gets closer. So again, we do have a winter storm watch that is in effect for Saturday night into Sunday across much of the big country, and we will see as the storm system approaches if the track stays on its current track. We'll also be watching for temperatures to see if it does indeed get cold enough for snow, so stay tuned for later updates from the National Weather Service.